Assalamu alaikum and very welcome to my lectures. I am Engineer Muhammad Ali and today we are going to start our very first topic of physics that is related to O levels and the first chapter we are going to study is about measurements and units uh, in which we are going to study about physical quantities, units and prefixes, scientific notations, what are SI units, how are you going to measure mass time, length, volume and density. Let's move on to our very first topic 1.01 that is about numbers and units. So first of all, uh, first we have to understand what is measurement. Before that we have to know what is the number and what is unit. Let's say we have a cyclist which is coming some distance from point A to point B. Let's say he has covered some distance of 10 meters. Here the number 10 is your number and this M is called its unit meters. Now combining this number and the unit gives us a measurement and this measurement is called a physical quantity. Okay, before going further to bigger and smaller units, first uh, you have to know first what is the power of 10. Okay, let's say I have simply written a 10, it means that its power is equal to 1. If it is written 100, it means that its power is 2 because 10 is multiplied by 10. When we know the mathematics rule, when the bases are same, the powers are added, that is 10, 1 plus 1, it becomes 10 power 2. Now, you should tell me, what is 1000 in the power of 10? It is exactly 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10, that is 10 power 1 plus 1 plus 1, and that is equal to 10 power 3. So, the 1000 and 10 power 3 is the equal value. It's the way of writing in the power of 10. Now we will move on to the bigger and the smaller units. Now we start uh, studying about bigger and smaller units. How the units are made bigger or smaller. So uh, they are made bigger or smaller by using a prefix. What are the prefixes we use? Uh, there are smaller prefixes and the larger prefixes. For example, for the smaller prefixes, that is, it starts with deci. Its symbol used is small d, and uh, its value is equivalent to one divided by ten. That is in scientific notation or in the power of ten. Its value is ten to the power minus one. And example is decimeter. Same as is, I I will name the prefixes. You can uh, see them. Uh, that is centi, small c, ten to the power minus two, milli, small m, ten to the power minus three. Micro U-shaped symbol is 10 to the power minus 6. An example is micrometer. And nano is li just like symbol of n and its power is 10 to the power minus 9. An example is nanometer. Now we move upon on the bigger units that are kilo, 10 to the power 3, meaning thousand. An example is kilometers. Mega, capital M, 10 to the power by 6 and megawatt. Giga capital G 10 raised to power 9 example is gigabyte so these are some symbols uh, units this is the example how prefixes are used to make the units bigger or smaller now we move on to scientific notations uh, what are scientific notation why are they used and what is their purpose Okay, so now we are going to study what is scientific notation. If the numbers are written in the power of 10, then they are said to be in the form of nice scientific notation. For example, if I write a simple 10, it means that its power is 1. This is called power of 10. We are, uh, if I write 100, it means that in the power of 10, it will be 10 to the power 2. Why? In the mathematics rule, you know that if the bases are same, the powers are added, so it becomes 10 to the power 2. If I write 1000 value, 
So in the power of 10, it will become 10 power 3. Why? Because 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10, that is 1 plus 1 plus 1. All the powers are added because they have the same base. So it becomes 10 power 3. So 1000 is equal to 10 power 3. <coughs> 100 is same as 10 power 2. And simple 10 is equal to 10 power 1. Any value of 10 power having equal value 0 is equal to 1. Let's say I write 1000 power 0 is value is equal to 1. So you have to remember that. Now someone says to me that there is an island and there live 320,000 people. So write this for a decimal form into scientific notation. So you have to recall your mathematics that you know that there in the last there is a decimal point and after that all the zeros are neglected. So to con uh, convert in into power of 10 or the scientific notation you have to multiply with a symbol 10. Now move the decimal point from right to left you will add the power 1. Another movement of decimal point here will add 1. Another point. Another point. Another point. So, collectively, the point has reached here. And if we add these all, it will become 10 to the power 5. So, after the point and the decimal value, all the zeros are neglected. So, this will <coughs> become... 10 raised power 5. So 33, 20,000 people, this decimal form is converted into scientific form. So it is the easier to write the large values or the bigger units, the large values are very simple to write in the scientific notation. So that's why uh, scientific notations are good. Now there is a small assignment you will do. Uh, I will write the question is and you will solve them. <coughs> I hope you have learned uh, the topics which I summarize here in the number of units. You have learned about what is number, what is unit, prefix, bigger how the units are made, uh, bigger and smaller by using the prefixes. You have uh, go through what is the power of 10 and how the scientific notations are made. And you have uh, reviewed uh, and solved uh, the assignment. I hope so. Uh, the solution will be given in the next lecture uh, so if there is any question you can comment below uh, thank you very much for the watching uh, stay tuned Allah